Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Cheryl here. So today's makeup is picture perfect makeup. Obviously, we all have occasions that we want to take good pictures, look our best. First off, I will use a pair of under eye hydrogels to deep up my eyes before any makeup applications. These hydrogels are pretty cooling for puffy eyes or sometimes you want to look like a ninja. Just kidding. I then put on this lip sleeping mask to moisturize my lips. Leave the hydrogels on for about 10-15 minutes, then take them off and gently massage my under eye area. On most days, I wear a SPF day cream before makeup. Um, I like the finish, it's kind of matte. If you don't like putting on sunscreen, definitely wear a primer before any face makeup. For this makeup, I'm using a tinted moisturizer by NYX. Tinted moisturizer is actually better and more natural than foundation for photo makeup. Um, this one has buildable coverage, lightweight, and still looks natural like your real skin. I'm blending out all the tinted moisturizer with a dampened sponge to create that natural finish. Lots of blending going on because you want to make sure everything melts into your skin so you won't look like you're wearing a mask. I'm using a liquid highlighting product to mix with a tinted moisturizer that's still left on the back of my hand to create that lip from within look. Applying to my under eye area and the prominent areas where the light hits. This is one way to create natural glow without looking like a disco ball in a photo. I'm using the same tinted moisturizer to conceal any blemishes that I have. If you have oily skin, remember to bake your face with loose powder to keep your makeup in place. For the brows, I want them to look neat and more defined with all the strokes I draw on them. Another tip for photo makeup is to use matte finish, nude, or taupe color eyeshadows for your eyes. I'm applying the beige color to my lids and this is the base of the eyeshadow. I'm using the taupe shade in the outer corner of my eyes, a little towards the center, and then emphasize the crease with a deeper tone. And don't forget about the under eye areas. Also, here I'm just using the darkest tone, um, the brown one, kind of like emphasize more of the outer corner, the outer C, and then slowly smush them into the crease. For the darkest shade, I actually built a couple times instead of heavy handed at once. Here I'm blending my eyeshadows with a clean brush to make sure there are no harsh edges or lines. Coat my lashes with a generous amount of mascara to make them look perky. I'm using the Kevin O'Quan Contour Book to contour my face. I'm using the second darkest shade, and this is my favorite step of makeup. So I'm basically just sculpting my cheekbones, you know, jaw lines, and to define my nose area. Definitely do not skip this step if you're doing a photo makeup because you don't want your face to look too flat. You do want a little bit more like defined and contoured. I'm using my favorite highlighting product of the year. Um, I love how fine the powder is and it makes the face look super glowy and natural. I use a tissue to blot off the excess lip mask on my lips before applying this super pretty pink color by Bobbi Brown. Just do one layer and then blot it off with tissue again, 
then apply the lipstick again and blot it off. So repeat the process for a couple of times and your lip color will last for the whole day. This is a little trick that I learned from a makeup artist. Don't forget to set your makeup with a setting spray to keep everything in place. So this is the makeup for ID and passport photos. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram account. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.